Hey, 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 hey. So I watch um, the Shamar interview on Atlanta's um, Streets interviews. Okay, yeah. Uh, um, I've been hearing a lot of things about this man that are not really good. Um, but I want to know how much are he paying these people to come on his channel um, to talk about their lives on his channel and he get the profit from it. And he paying them probably barely nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not knocking nobody hustle, but it seemed kind of creepy to me, you know. But it's just my it's just my opinion. But let's get into um Shamar interview, okay? Um, I did this because people been wanting me to talk about him, the Atlanta Street interviews for a while. They've been in my comments, um, on my other channel as well as this one, wanted me to speak on him, okay? Um, in his videos or whatever like that, um. But let's get into Shamar. So Shamar came on there and just was basically was lying. Um, I'm gonna say, but I'm gonna say allegedly. But he was anybody can see that he was lying. He was making up stuff as he went along. Um, I've been watching Shamar for before I even did it. Started my YouTube channel. I've been watching Shamar for a long time. When he was on IG, real heavy, and that's how he, you know, got his, you know, internet fame or whatever. Um, and when he was hanging with Shekana, you know, and I like Shekana, and she was trying to help him and tell him to do the right things and taking him around. I used to be on her lives and stuff, and um, she was helping him. And he did her wrong and did her dirty. He do everybody try to do something for him and try to help him. Even people that we did not know, that I did not even know that he was that was helping him, came on Shekana live and talked about how. They let him stay with him. They was, you know, getting him, you know, hair done for free and, you know, and all this good stuff. And he was not, he was mistreating him, basically. That's even before his mother uh, passed away, okay? So, Shabar just out here, he don't know how to treat people. Uh, he get a check, but he don't want to pay no bills, okay? Shamar, I've been watching, like I said, I've been watching him for a long, long, since the beginning. I've been watching him. So, you know, everybody has, if you've been on YouTube, if you've been on IG, before YouTube, before he even came over to YouTube, he was on IG Heavy. And um, I knew him, I met him through watching Shekana, and Shekana, you know, try to, trying to help him and befriend him and stuff like that. Where he tried to befriend Shekana because he used to come on her lives. And that's how they met, okay? He used to come on her, she used to bring people up, and he came up. So, I've been knowing him for a minute. Well, I don't know him, but I've been knowing of him for a minute. And I feel as though this. Shamar is a user. Shamar is a person that likes to get over and try to use his disability, his shortcomings, his um, being mental and all this stuff to get over on people and use good people. A lot of good people have came into Shamar's life. He has, he has mistreated. Shamar is irresponsible, don't know how to manage money. People try to help him manage his money. People try to help him get a section A in basically on income places. He don't keep none of them. I was with Shakana when she was riding in her car, taking him to get try to get him places for he can live and stuff. And she was telling him about you have to pay your bills, you have to do this, you have to do that. You have to get somebody to uh see over your stuff. She, he did have his sister. I one more one point. I was watching Shakana live and he was telling her that his sister was over his money and she was messing it all over. Basically he, he was trying to say about his sister. But I believe that she was and I believe that he was just mad because he couldn't control it and he couldn't do what he wanted to do with it. But him and his sister was into it. Um about him being over his finances or whatever, I guess, I don't know, it was, I don't know when his mama, was, I think it was after his mama, I don't know if it was when his mama was alive, may she rest in peace, but I don't know if it was when his mama was alive or when she was, and then he also had a brother, I don't know exactly where his brother is now, I don't know if his brother is his sister house or what, but he did have a, uh, I think his brother was younger than him, I think, or they were around the same age, I don't really know, I forget, but, yeah, I've seen him on live with Shekana. Shekana was trying to help him. He did Shekana wrong. Um, I seen all that transpire from her watching her. Because I, I that's who I used to watch most of the time when I went on IG to get through my day. I used to watch Shekana live. Because it used to be popping in. I still get on there every now and then when I have time. But I do my own stuff now. So um, when it comes to my channel. So I can't be on Shekana stuff all the time. When I didn't have a channel, I used to be on there. Because I, you know, to get through my day. 
um, when I'm at work or whatever, maybe the case when I, you know what, you know what I'm saying, but that's either here or there, but, um, so, so, so Shamar is a user, Shamar was on their line, the man, I don't know how much, man, he was just happy to get a check, or get a cash app or whatever from the man, I don't know how much the man is paying these, paying these people to come on here and talk about their business on his channel when they can do that on their own channel if they want to make one, or they can do that on their own platform if they want to create one and tell their life story. I don't know why they getting, you know, his channel, like he Oprah or something, well, I'm giving him too much credit with that, but, you know, his channel, like he's somebody, talk show host, and telling them all their business and lying and making up stuff as well. Um, but I'm going to say allegedly, but that's my take on it. I feel like Shamar just got on there because he wanted the money. I feel like Shamar could have a place to stay, but he don't want to play pay no, he don't want to be responsible for no steady place and pay bills. He don't want. So he want to rather live on the streets and pay for hotels and, and, and make people feel sorry for him and beg. That's basically what's going on here, okay? If anybody been following him from the jump, from the beginning, and anybody, I think some of them Shekana lives are on here. You just probably gotta look up their name, Shekana and Shamar or whatever. I'm gonna see if I can find some of them, and I'm gonna put them on here. I'm gonna see if I can, but y'all better watch them, okay? If I can find some of them when they used to hang together, and, Sh and Shamar came in her live for the first time, I'm gonna see if I can find it. Um, but anyway, she was trying to help him, but he didn't do he didn't do right by Sharon. He didn't do right by her. He didn't do right by a lot of people that came into his life, and still not doing right by people that came to come to his life and try to help him, but use him and, and treat him wrong and then talk crazy to him, and then wonder why he ain't got no help. And, then, and some people be gullible and feel sorry for him because he know how to manipulate a lot of people. Um, my take on the man, I think, what's his name, Marcus, I don't know, um, it's something off about the man, um, I really don't watch his channel, and I didn't really want to watch his channel now, you know, <laughs> that's why it's been taking me so long to do a video on his channel, because it just ain't for me, but I will do it, because I don't like him up here exploring people in their situations, in their life, and what they've been through, for a click and a view, and he getting more profit off of it, than the people, whatever he paying the people. Um, but anyway, on that note, I'll be keeping an eye over there. If y'all want me to talk about another video or something like that, I'll look into it. But if y'all not going to watch the video or run the video up, I'm not going to be doing them on him. Okay, because it, it, it take me, I got to go over there and listen and get through that through the videos. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it'll be kind of cringy. So, um, not the people's story, but him. You know, um... But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about my take on it. But I don't feel sorry for Shamar because he get a check every month. The man get a disability check, uh, mental check, or whatever check. He get a check, and he does not do right by that. Um, that's why he can be able to get hotel rooms. And he run out of money from hotel rooms because the hotels are high. Then he gotta buy snacks and food. You know everything high now, food high. Um, then he taking care of other people like the dudes he be with. Um, giving him money and letting people use him, they don't help him. He backwards. You know, even though he got a problem, he backwards. The people that was treating him right, he didn't do nothing for. But the people, the dog them, but the people that don't treat him right, he he love their dirty draws and, um, and give him their stuff and they use him. So he really get his karma from the people that he try to help and respect the men he be with that he get his money to and take care of and have them in a the hotel with him. And, but when it comes to people that's really trying to help him and see him progress and have something and have a place to live, he don't want that kind of help. So I don't feel sorry for him. But the interview was, it was all right. It was kind of boring because he really wasn't talking about nothing. Really, Jamal was just making up stories about how even when it came to him, um, when his mom died, he was 24, he was just making up stuff. It, 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 the stuff didn't add up, okay? Um, yeah. But you let you know right there that the internet don't equal uh, a lot of money. Then when you go on the internet, everybody don't get a lot of money from this internet. Um, and if some people do, you have to budget it right and put it in stuff right and do what's right. But anyway, on that note, see y'all in the next one. I just want to get my take on it because I said I would. 
So, um, the person that wanted me to do this video, here it is. And I hope you like it. And I'll run it up, run it up, run it up.